Hi, welcome to Nourish IT. This is Kishore, and today we are going to discuss about the structure example. In previous session, I have discussed what are the differences between C structure and C++ structure, and later I have given C++ structure and C++ class differences. Okay, in previous session. We have discussed the differences between C structure, C++ structure, and C++ structure and class. Today, I am going to give an example on C++ structure. Okay, according to the previous class, structure is collection of heterogeneous variables. That means it allows to store different types of variables at one place. Okay, not only that one. Structure is a user-defined data type. Because of user is able to select uh, the required data types as per the program, okay, and structure allows to store both the primitive and derived data types at one place, and structure allows to store the data in the form of records. Next, structure allows to maintain the data in the form of objects. Nowadays, everything is object oriented, and to conduct the object oriented programming. We are going to start the structures because of the total object-oriented programming starts with the structure. That's why I am saying structures are the foundation for object-oriented programming. Now, in this class, I am going to give one example on structure C++ structure. Okay. Now, first of all, I am going to explain what is the C++ structure syntax. Okay, now I'm going to give syntax of a C++ structure. Generally, every structure should have to start with struct keyword. Every structure should have to start with struct keyword. Okay, that's why first uh, struct. It is a keyword. Next, every structure is having generally one name, which is also called tag name. Okay, that's why every structure is having a tag name. Now. Tag name, and here tag name is optional, but required whenever the structure variables are declared in other places. That's why here I am going to place square bracket. Generally, square bracket indicates optional part. That's why here tag name is not mandatory, but it is required when the structure variables are declared in some other places. Now, what is a structure variable? Later, I will explain. Next. Now the structure started. Now inside the structure, generally we have to declare the variables. Normally, every program contains variables. Now, now here also structure contains different types of variables, which are technically called structure members. Which are technically called structure members. That's why I am going to give structure members. Okay. Generally, they are nothing but. Uh, Variable declarations. Okay, the structure members are nothing but variable declaration. Now the point is here not only variable declarations. Actually, C structure and C++ structure difference is what C structure allows only the variables inside the structure, but C++ allows both the variables and functions inside the structure. That's why here variable declarations and function declarations. Now. The structure is completed. Now the structure is completed, and uh, as per the syntax, every structure should have to end with semicolon. Okay, here as per the syntax, every structure should have to end with a semicolon. That's why here semicolon. But here one more thing is, we can define the structure variables also here. That's why here structure variables. Now semicolon. And here structure variables are optional. Structure variables are optional. That's why here I have enclosed within square bracket. These are the structure variables which are placed inside the brackets. Now this one indicates it is purely optional, and every structure should have to end with semicolon. Now it is the syntax of a structure. First, struct keyword. It should be in lower case. Later, tag name, not man mandatory, and the variables that are declared. And functions which are declared inside the structure are called structure members. That's why here C++ structure is the combination of variables 
and functions ok. It is the major difference between C structure and C++ structure ok. C structure is collection of only variables, but here C++ structure is collection of variables and function. Now, based on this example, I am going to write a small example ok. It is a syntax now, now I am going to implement. Now, it is the example ok. Now, I am going to start a structure example. Generally, every C++ program starts with uh, two common header files in general. What there means? Io stream dot h, conio dot h. One is for C out and C in, one is for clear screen and get ch. Now, here also hash include Io stream dot h. It is the input and output operation. Next conio dot h for clrscr and get ch ok. Next now I am going to start a structure here first struct keyword struct and I am going to declare a structure named student that means I want to store the student structure data I want to store student structure data that is why the structure name is student. Next here stu is called tag name. Next every student generally contains id number and char name of 20. Now, here id and name are called structure members ok. Here they are called generally structure members which are also called data members ok because of variables. Next C++ structure allows to define the function also now that is why here void get data now it is the function ok here void get data now I am going to define a function also inside the structure later here I am going to write like this C out enter student id comma name next C in id name ok when this function is executed what happened C out which is equivalent to printf, it is going to print the text on the screen, letter c n which is equivalent to scanf which reads the values at runtime. Now, we have to enter one id number, one name, now they are going to store in id and name. Next, here I want to print the data, now c out id equal to ok, here id I want to print end l, end l gives what next line. Now, first of all id number is printed letter c out name I want to print the name also now name now brackets close here the function definition completed here function definition but still structure is open now close this structure ok and here there is a rule everybody knows every structure should have to end with semicolon that is why here semicolon and one more thing I said here before closing the structure, we can declare the structure variable also here. Now, for example, yes, here s is called structure variable, here s is called structure variable and it is the copy or instance of this structure ok. Actually, it is the blueprint means original copy and from this blueprint, we are going to create the instance means copy. Now, Compies are generally having what same structure members or same members that is why now S also having same members means what S is also having id and name. Now, the memory is created for S like this ok. Suppose it is the stack and now first one is id, id which type integer that is why here id and integer required. 2 bytes. Next name 20 bytes. Now, it is the name and it require 20 bytes. That is why total structure size is 22 bytes and this memory is allocated for S. Yes. That is why here one important point we have to discuss. When the structure variable is declared, S is the structure variable means instance. When the structure variable is declared, then only memory also allocated for structure members ok. When the structure variable is declared, 
then only memory allocated for structure members. That is why here one important rule is without structure variable, without structure variable there is no memory. That is why without structure variable we cannot access the structure members, we cannot access the structure members. That is why if there is a structure there should be a structure variable also. Next, now the memory also created. Now I want to access this memory. For that which function I have used get data. Now I have to call this get data function. From where we have to call this get data function means main function. That is why here I am going to start main function. Now main function started. Already structure variable is ready now. That is why directly we can access the member function get data. Directly CLR is here, screen cleared and S dot get data because of now the get data is a not a normal function. Now it is the member of this structure and to access any member within the structure you should have to use dot member access operator, field access operator, membership operator, member of operator, belongs to operator like that. That is why, that's why to access any structure member you should have to start structure variable name first followed by dot operator followed by member name it is the syntax that is why structure variable name dot member s dot get actually it is called function calling when a function is called what happens your compiler is searching for the proper or matching definition actually this function definition available here that is why it is going to jump here later it is going to execute this line means enter student id name. Later scene is waiting for the user input. Suppose user entered some values for example user entered 101 okay. Later it is waiting for the name for example user entered Kishore. Now 101 is taken by id and Kishore is taken by name they are going to store in the stack like this that is why id becomes 101 name becomes Kishore. Now later C out is executed now. when C out is used what happens first id number is printed okay id number means 101 later C out name name is printed means Kishore that means on the screen we are going to get 101 Kishore both okay. Now printing also finish you know later get ch to get the output directly without pressing alt f and now the program also completed okay. When this program is successfully executed first of all it is waiting for student id and name because of function calling is there. When function is called we have to enter id name they are going to be stored in inside the id and name later they are going to be print that is why here watch it id and name generally we are calling variables okay and get data is a function now both are placed inside the structure okay that is why C++ structure allows to define both variables and functions at one place inside the structure and it is not possible in C structure it is the variation between C structure and C++ structure okay.